They are the words so many have waited so long to hear. I am sorry for our actions that have caused you pain. I am sorry for all the times that you were mistreated, victimized, and re-victimized. An apology for the practice of street checks in a city that has struggled with race relations after the review earlier this year showed black people were street checked at a rate six times higher than white people in Halifax. A former Nova Scotia judge found the practice illegal and after a public outcry, the provincial government recently announced it was permanently banning it. So today, a historic pledge to do better. Street checks are only one element of the larger issue. I know it will take hard work to get to where we need to be. There are plans to improve training for officers, a public awareness campaign to let people know what their rights are when they're stopped by police, and a recruitment drive to hire more black officers. But will it be enough? Will this day be a turning point in race relations and a new relationship with the Halifax Police Department, the African Nova Scotian community and people of African descent? It's so easy um, to say, after 540 years, I'm sorry, and lack substance. We've heard these things before. So the real question is, will the chief of police and will the province of Nova Scotia work with us on these issues? Facing the rising sun of a new day. No one thinks the road ahead will be easy, but the consensus here is that today's apology is moving in the right direction. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.